Okay, y'all. This this clip right here was basically my reaction to all the news that Marvel posted yesterday. Spider-Man's name is Peter Parker. What the Anyways, welcome to the first 2022 new segment of First 2022 segment of the right news. Uh, yeah, I haven't really posted one of these today or this year, but I thought I'd start today because Marvel, like San Diego Comic Con, is going on currently, and Marvel. I don't know what Marvel was smoking when they decided to reveal all this, sh but I want y'all to give me some of that stuff. So, what I'm going to be doing for you guys today, I'm going to be breaking down all the animated stuff and also all the live action stuff that they got revealed because there is a lot to break down. So, without further ado, let's get into it back. Alright, so as you guys can see, I got my trusty handy dandy laptop right here with a background from Rise of the TMNT, the movie. Yeah, I'm, I'm super, I'm super hyped for this. I am super hyped for this movie, but that is not what we're here to discuss today, so let's get on to the actual Marvel news. Alright, so starting with the animated stuff that they got revealed. Um, first up, uh, I'm looking on Twitter. Um, first up, I Am Groot. They released a poster for that uh, on Saturday, and it says, I Am Groot, all new... All original shorts start streaming August 10th on Disney Plus. And they also released a trailer for it. And honestly, this show looks freaking adorable. Like, and I'm not going into this expecting a freaking A24 movie. Like, or anything A24 related. I I'm just going in here to have a good time. <laughs> and I Am Groot looks like it's going to be a good time. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited for this show. Alright, next news. Marvel Studios' What If Season 2, an original series streaming early 2023 on Disney+. Plus. So, yeah, What If is getting a second season. We got some details about what the episodes in Season 2 will be. Uh, but overall, I'm really excited for this. I mean, I, I, I really like the first season of What If. And I'm really looking forward to what the second season has to offer. There's, I think there's an episode where... Uh, where, like, that's focused on Hela. I think there's also an episode that has Odin fight someone. I, I don't know. Editing Trent, can you do the research and uh, get back to me on that one? Gotcha, homie. Uh, yeah, apparently there's going to be a fight scene between Odin and the Mandarin in What If Season 2. So that's going to be freaking awesome. But, uh, yeah, I'm really excited for What If Season 2. All right, next news. Marvel Studios X-Men 97. An original series streaming fall 2023 on Disney Plus. So yeah, X Men the '90s X Men series is coming back, and we got a look at the at all of the characters from the original series like Wolverine, Cyclops, Jean Grey, uh, Gambit. They they look pretty faithful to how they looked in the '90s series, and we also got a look at some new mutants. What? What the frick was that? 
Anyways, we got some a look at some new mutants we're going to be getting in this series. We got Cable, Nightcrawler, and Bishop are the three that I was able to make out. So, yeah, overall, I'm really excited for X-Men 97, and I'm going to give this show a watch when it comes out. And also, interestingly enough, Magneto is the leader of the X-Men this time. Have no idea how that's going to go, but we'll see. All right, this is the one that got me all jangled up. It's like, I mean, I'm super excited for this, but I also don't know what the freak is going on with it. Marvel Studios' Spider-Man Freshman Year, an original series streaming in 2024 on Disney+. Plus. Now, the way that they described this show back on Disney Plus Day is that it will be a prequel to Captain America's Civil War. Remember in Civil War when Tom Holland's Spider-Man said that he had those powers for six months? Well, this show was going to take place during those six months. And, well... I I am so freaking confused with this series because, like, they revealed some pictures from the show and they revealed a new design for his homemade suit, which I was just like, okay, maybe that's like a prototype version before he makes the uh, one that we saw in Civil War and Homecoming. Then they revealed Doctor Strange and Daredevil, which I'm just like, okay, maybe he, like, worked with Daredevil one time, but they never knew their identity, so that's why Peter doesn't know that Matt Murdock is Daredevil in... No Way Home, and also Peter could have seen Doctor Strange, but, like, doesn't know who he is, so that's how they could explain them meeting in Infinity War. And then they decide to reveal freaking Norman Osborn as part of the show. Like, and th that's where things get confusing for me, because it's like, the first time Peter met Norman Osborn was in Spider-Man No Way Home. And, and also, we got revealed, a, like, Doc Ock is going to be part of the show. And, like, again, the first time Peter met Doc Ock was in Spider-Man No Way Home. And there's also another screenshot that looked of uh, Peter meeting Norman Osborn that looks really, like, basically exactly like when Peter met uh, Tony Stark. So, is this, like, some kind of what-if? thing like what if Peter Parker was recruited by Norman Osborn instead of uh Tony Stark and also I forgot to mention Harry Osborn is also part of this show and I I'm just so confused on how this fits into the MCU all right so moving on from all that confusion uh now we're getting to all this stuff that Marvel announced at Hall H which if you all know if you all know Marvel Hall H is where all heck breaks loose. So, all right. So, just announced in Hall H, Marvel Studios Secret Invasion, an original series streaming spring 2023 on Disney Plus. Now, uh, I'm just gonna close this and put this right here. Um, good enough. Uh, so, if in case you guys don't know what Secret Invasion is, it is a Marvel comic storyline where a group of scrolls infiltrate the entirety of the Marvel Universe. So like the Avengers, S.H.I.E.L.D., Hydra, S.W.O.R.D., nothing is safe. Like you can't trust anyone. And the, uh, and the main characters of the show are going to be Talos, who we saw in Captain Marvel, and we also saw him in the post credit scene of Spider-Man Far From Home. And... Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury, which I'm, I'm glad that Samuel L. Jackson is finally getting something in the, in the MCU to call his own. Although, he did basically recruit all the original Avengers, so... Yeah, but I'm glad Samuel L. Jackson is finally getting something to call his own. Alright, so the next announcement that they made is a Marvel movie in Phase 5 that I'm super excited for. Just announced in Hall H, Marvel Studios' Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 in theaters May 5th, 2023. And we got a new logo for Guardians Volume 3. Uh, and honestly, I like this logo a lot more than the first one. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I love this new logo. And they also released some trailer footage that, from the sound of it, this might be, this might be like the best Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Like, this might be one of the best out of the three. Uh, Basically, the description of it is 
the Gamora from 2014 from Avengers Endgame, she is now leading the Ravagers. Like, and that... That is so... That just sounds so cool to me. Like, seeing Gamora, like, the who is called the deadliest woman in the galaxy, leading a group of, like, space pirates is just awesome. Uh... And also, we get to see a lot of stuff with Rocket's backstory. And people are saying that this was a very emotional trailer. And, and I'm not surprised because from, like, Groot's death in Guardians Volume 1, Yondu's death in Volume 2, I'm fully expecting this to be emotional. So, yeah. They also said that uh, they got a look at Will Poulter as Adam Warlock, which I'm not going to lie to you guys, I don't know that much about Adam Warlock, but the most I've seen of him is from the Guardians of the Galaxy video game, which I didn't even go hold y'all, that game was heat, but yeah, that I, I'm really excited for Guardians of Volume 3. Next up, Marvel Studios Echo, an original series streaming uh, summer 2023 on Disney+. And in case you guys don't know who Echo is, that is the character from Hawkeye. Remember the deaf character that was that was like awesome in that show? Spoiler alert if you haven't seen Hawkeye. At the end of the show, she kind of goes through a little bit of a redemption arc and she kind of redeems herself to being kind of like a vigilante or anti-hero. So this series will be about her kind of trying to clear her name after working with the tracksuit mafia. And I heard some rumors that a certain, that a really good lawyer, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, is going to be part of this show. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, n -n 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 next, we got Marvel Studios Loki Season 2, an original series streaming in summer 2023 on Disney+. And, look, I I'm really excited for this show and what I thought about the first season of Loki I really like that first season of Loki I mean I like the whole redemption arc that the 2012 Loki went through I liked uh the kind of I like I kind of like Sylvie uh I like the way that they explain the multiverse uh freaking Kang the Conqueror showing up which we'll get more on we'll get more on him later uh in the next bit of news but yeah just this and also, freaking Owen Wilson. Like, come on. The man is a national treasure. Like, come on. Like, I'm not even going to lie. The first time I heard Owen Wilson was coming to the MCU, I was just like, wow. <laughs> come on, you knew I had to do it. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for uh, What If, or for Loki Season 2. And I'm really intrigued to see where the story could go during Season 2. All right, so next bit of news before we get back to the Twitter stuff. For Marvel, Marvel just uh, Marvel revealed the first poster for Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantumania, and this looks awesome. Like I'm not even gonna lie, this looks amazing. Like Ant Man and the Wasp, them in their new suits look amazing. Jonathan Majors as Kane the Conqueror in the back looks menacing as freak. But also we get to see Cassie Lang next to Scott Lang. And she is wearing her superhero suit. And she's wearing a purple colored Ant-Man suit. So it looks like she's not going to end up becoming Stature like we all thought. Instead she might end up becoming the character Stinger from the comics. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm digging Ant-Man, Wasp, and Cassie's new suits. Although I know... Although, I know, I know my girl Cassie ain't wearing them Converse's over her new suit. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, overall, I'm, I'm super hyped for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. And I'm super excited to see what it could lead for the rest of Phase 5. Because Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania will be the starter for Phase 5. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm super excited for that. Alright, I know I ain't Ariana Grande, but thank you next. <laughs> Alright, next up. Marvel Studios Blade in theaters November 3rd, 2023. Now, Blade is... 
something that I'm pretty excited for because we've heard rumors that the guy who plays Homelander in The Boys, I, I can't think of his name right now, so uh, editing Trent, could you uh, do the research and uh, get back to me? Uh, Bro, I swear, you better be paying me for this. Also, his name is Anthony Starr, so yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, um, there's rumors that he's going to be playing Dracula in the movie, which honestly, I can kind of see that, but I'm just most excited for Marshall Ali playing Blade because he's already been in a Marvel movie before. If if you guys have, I don't know, like, if you guys have seen Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, which, like, why wouldn't you have seen Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse? Uh, Marshall Ali is the same guy who voiced the Prowler in that movie. And he did an amazing job voicing the Prowler, so I'm really excited to see him as Blade in uh, the MCU. So, yeah. Next. All right. Next up, Marvel Studios' Ironheart, an original series streaming fall 2023 on Disney+. Plus. Uh, and we got a logo for the series, which is the same one they revealed on Disney Plus Day. And Ironheart... I'm excited for this show. Like, I think that this series is going to be, like, really cool. And also, we got a first trailer for Black Panther Wakanda Forever uh, yesterday. And I and they didn't show Ironheart at all in that trailer. Which, I guess it was kind of more on, more geared towards, like, the people of Wakanda and their, like, and also the people of Atlantis. But I, I was expecting to see Ironheart in that trailer. Uh, but... Yeah, I'm really excited to see what the Ironheart TV show has to offer. So, yeah. And next up. All right, next up. Marvel Studios' Agatha, Coven of Chaos, an original series streaming winter 2023 on Disney+. Plus. And here's the logo for it. And, yeah. Agatha Harkness. Agatha Harkness was like the last person I expected to get her own Disney Plus series. But I thought Agatha was a pretty cool villain. I'm not going to lie. Uh, so I'm really excited to see what this show could be. And also maybe it could be set before WandaVision. Maybe it could be set after WandaVision. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to see what Agatha Covenant of Chaos brings. And as the title suggests, I am expecting nothing but pure chaos in this series. All right, next up. Marvel Studios' Captain America New World Order in theaters May 3rd, 2024. And this is the continuation from Back in the Winter Soldier. This movie will star Sam, will star Anthony Mackie as Captain America. And listen, I don't care what all you fake MCU fans have to say. I will say aloud for the people in the back, Sam Wilson is Captain America! I don't think I need to elaborate further, <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm super excited to see what Captain America Four is gonna bring. Uh, and I'm I'm also wondering what some of the other characters are gonna be in this movie. Like I'm hoping that Bucky shows up in this movie, and the main villain, I think it might be the Power Broker. But then again, Sharon Carter might be a little bit too, uh, like, like kind of weak of a villain, and. That that is why I know y'all are gonna hate me for saying this, but I I want John Walker to come back. Bring back US Agent and have him fight Sam Wilson. I, I I know they ended things on good terms in the finale of Falcon the Winter Soldier, but I I still wanna see US Agent fight Captain America, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> So yeah, overall, I'm I'm super I'm super excited for uh, Captain America: New World Order. All right, next up, She Hulk: Attorney at Law, an original series, starts streaming August seventeenth on Disney Plus. We got a new poster for the series, and we also got a trailer for it yesterday. And honestly, the trailer that they released yesterday was I it completely sold me on the show, like like. Mark Ruffalo, Bruce Banner seems like he's going to be really funny in this. Jennifer Walters seems like She-Hulk seems like she's going to be very, very funny in this. 
And I love how she actually breaks the fourth wall, just like she does in the comics. And I can't help but feel like this is a test for Marvel to be like, okay, we're going to have one character in a Disney Plus series break the fourth wall. And if it works, and we'll see if it works, and then we'll do it again for Deadpool. Like, I, I can't help but think that that's what they're doing. But yeah, we also got Wong in the trailer, which I thought that was awesome. And now that I think about it, Phase 4 should just be called Marvel Studios Phase Wong. <laughs> but the ending of that trailer... They pulled a Civil War trailer 2 on us. You know how Civil War trailer 2 ended with them revealing Spider-Man? They they did they did that again. They revealed someone in the second trailer for She Hulk, and I'm I'm, I'm hyped, but we'll get more on this guy later. <laughs> so uh, yeah, overall She Hulk, I'm really excited to see how this show actually plays out. And well, speaking of the devil, looks like the looks like the character that I talked about last segment is actually going to be the focus of this segment, or should I say, speak of the Daredevil because. Marvel Studios Daredevil Born Again, an original series starring Charlie Cox and Vincent D'Onofrio, streaming spring 2024 on Disney+. Y'all, Daredevil is getting his own series on Disney+. And the big thing about it is that it's going to be the same actors from the Netflix series. We got Charlie Cox playing Matt Murdock again, which we saw him in a little scene in Spider-Man No Way Home. We got Vincent D'Onofrio coming back, coming back to play Kingpin, which we saw him previously in Hawkeye. And I, I am just so excited for this. And I, I was planning on watching the Netflix Daredevil series after No Way Home, but honestly, now I'm just going to wait until Daredevil Born Again comes out because honestly, I'm super excited for this uh, Disney Plus series, and I hope they can stick the landing with it, because Marvel is kind of sticking the landing with a lot of their newer Disney Plus shows now, like Moon Knight, I love Moon Knight, Miss Marvel might be one of my favorites, uh, uh, so, yeah, I'm really excited for Daredevil Born Again. Alright, next up, Marvel Studios' The Thunderbolts, in theater July, in theaters July 26, 2024. Now, in case you guys don't know who the Thunderbolts are, to dumb it down for you guys, it's kind of like Marvel's version of the Suicide Squad. They're a bunch of bad guys who team up to do some good, to do some good. But towards the end of the like comic, they actually have a little bit of a change of heart and they actually like realize the error of their ways. And the rumor team that we got for the Thunderbolts is actually a pretty cool team, if I'm being honest. We got Ghost from Ant-Man and the Wasp, Val from Falcon the Winter Soldier and Black Widow, which Val is also the name of my girlfriend's Ninjago we'll see. <laughs> we also got Abomination, uh, Baron Zemo, and John Walker, aka US Agent. That is the current lineup of Thunderbolts that we have right now, and I'm, I'm excited for this. Like, I'm honestly excited for this. Like, like I, like all these villains, I really like. Like, I love Ghost. I think Val is a pretty mysterious character, so I'm kind of getting intrigued with her a little more. Um, Abomination. I only saw him in Shang Chi because I haven't seen the Incredible Hulk yet, but I, but I love Abomination in Shang Chi and just that little scene that we got of him. Uh, uh, Baron Zemo, I loved him in Civil War, and he stole every scene he was in in Falcon the Winter Soldier. Y'all, that, that dance was fire, though. You cannot deny that. Uh, and also, John Walker. I mean, I, I hate the guy, but at the same time, I really wanted to come back. So, yeah, Thunderbolts, I'm super excited for this show. I mean, for this movie. <laughs> Man. All right, now, this is where we start going to the Phase 6 announcements. And god dang, this is this is where stuff starts to get real. Marvel Studios Fantastic Four in theaters November 8th, 2024. Y'all, 
We just got a release date for the MCU Fantastic Four movie. And there is only one meme that I can use to describe how I feel about this movie. Oh shit, here we go again. Yeah, like, honestly, we've had like three versions of the Fantastic Four already. I've heard stuff about the 1980s version of Fantastic Four. Uh, that is, I feel like, a gem lost in time, I think, but, uh, or I don't know, I haven't seen it. Uh, I haven't seen any of the, the first early 2000s Fantastic Four movie, but I have seen Rise of the Silver Surfer. They think my boy Galactus dirty in that movie, but I think that, uh, that the, uh, that, uh, that movie was also really good. And Fan Forstick? Call that movie Bruno, because we don't talk about it. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I'm really excited for this new Fantastic Four movie, and also, and I really hope that they can stick the landing with, uh, with this version, with the MCU version of the Fantastic Four. So, yeah. Out. Before I get to probably the biggest announcements out of this entire Marvel Studios Comic Con stuff, uh, uh, let's talk about some Black Panther because uh, they released a trailer for Black Panther Wakanda Forever yesterday, and they also released this little teaser poster. And the teaser poster I think looks really cool. Like it's Black Panther's suit, and honestly, I think it looks really cool. Uh, and the trailer, honestly, it got me super excited. Like, I, like, sure, I was expecting to see a lot of Iron Heart, like, some of Iron Heart in the trailer, but, like, like, this is just a trailer about the, about just the people in the nation of Wakanda and also some stuff with Atlantis. And honestly, I am just so excited to see this movie. And I'm also really intrigued to find out who the new Black Panther is. Because they said they weren't going to be recasting Chadwick Boseman. So, I'm, I'm really intrigued to see who the new Black Panther is. Uh, so, yeah. That movie looks awesome. Can't wait to see it November 11th. Alright, y'all. I gotta take me a little water break. Because this next part's going to get me talking like crazy. So, uh, yeah. Alright, so now it's time to get on to the biggest announcements from Comic-Con this year when it comes to the Marvel Phase 6. Marvel Studios' Avengers The Kang Dynasty in theaters May 2nd, 2025. Y'all, y'all, we just got our title for Avengers 5. And it's going to be called Marvel's, and it's going to be called Avengers The Kang Dynasty. And... What I think this means is obviously Kang the Conqueror is going to be the main villain of this series. I mean, of this movie. But the, but like, if he dies in Ant Man and the Watch Quantumania, it doesn't matter because remember, in Loki, he said that there were variants of him throughout the multiverse and each one was more evil than the last. So, this, the, the version of Kang we're going to see in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is going to be more evil than, than He Who Remains. And the version of him that we're probably going to get in uh, Avengers the Kang Dynasty is probably going to be even more evil than, any, than both of those versions. So, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited for this. And also, I'm wondering... Who are gonna be who's gonna be the new group of Avengers? Because I think they might try to because uh I think that uh and also I think that if they don't decide to do Young Avengers, then maybe they could have some of the Young Avengers characters kind of interwoven into this new group of Avengers. But so far the list that I've come up with is Sam Wilson Captain America, uh uh, Kate Bishop Hawkeye, Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel, uh, Carol Danvers, Captain Marvel, uh, Jennifer Walters, She-Hulk, assuming she's not busy being a lawyer, uh, <laughs> Doctor Strange, uh, Peter Parker, aka Spider-Man, uh, 
which even if they don't remember who he is, they still remember who Spider-Man is. So I'm pretty sure they'll remember that Spider-Man is an active member of the Avengers. Uh, and also, uh, dang, who's, the, who's the last person? Uh, maybe Spectral Vision, the white version of Vision that we saw at the end of WandaVision. Uh, and also, uh, yeah, so I think that's it. I think that's all the characters that might, and also the new Black Panther. So, yeah, um. I think that those are going to be all the characters that are going to be part of this new Avengers lineup. So, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm super excited for Avengers Kang Dynasty. But even though I said that Avengers Kang Dynasty, I was super hyped for that movie, there is still one more movie that I... that is going to be my most hyped Marvel movie in the next coming years. Assuming that Spider-Man 4 doesn't come out before it. Uh, and that is Marvel Studios' Avengers Secret Wars in theaters November 7th to... to blah, 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 blah. In theaters November 7th, 2025. Y'all, we all knew it was coming, but this is so freaking crazy. And if you guys don't know what, what Secret Wars is... I think this is going to be drawing a lot of inspiration from the 2015 run of Secret Wars, where basically Doctor Doom causes an incursion between a bunch of different universes, and they all have to fight, and every character has to fight their variant. And that just gets me so excited to see, like, what all could be happening, because we could get, like, a fight scene between, like, Sam Wilson, Captain America, versus, like, Steve Rogers, Captain America, that works for Hydra, versus Captain Carter. We could get a fight between, like, Ironheart versus, like, a superior Iron Man played by Tom Cruise. We could get, like, a fight scene between, like, we could get, like, a fight between, like, a different version of, like, a different version of the Guardians of the Galaxy, like, like, Ravager Gamora teaming up against, uh, like, Ravager Gamora fighting the Gamora from What If. This could be the movie where we see Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield team up with Tom Holland again. Like, oh my god, like, this is, this, like, when Infinity War was coming out, I said, bro, the sky is the limit when it comes to characters that can show in Infinity War. But with Secret Wars... The whole freaking galaxy is the limit with what they can do with Secret Wars. Because this movie, this is, like, honestly, my most hyped MCU project, like, of, like, out of all of them. Like, I'm still hyped for Guardians 3, I'm still hyped for Spider-Man Freshman Year, I'm still hyped for Kang Dynasty, I'm, I'm still hyped for all these shows and movies. But Secret Wars, dude, like, come on! Like, bro, this, like, come on, dude! Like, bro! Y'all, Secret Wars is coming in 2025, and when it comes to the MCU, we have now officially entered the Multiverse Saga. Alright, so anyways, that is the video I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, as always, be sure to smack a smack a smash that like button. And also be sure to subscribe and hit the bell, that way you never miss a new notification from me. And this, all these announcements were just so freaking crazy, man. So I want to ask you, which Marvel, which one of these projects that they announced, which one are you most excited for? And as always, see you later, brothers, sisters, and general labor resistors. Peace out.